Yeah, hi guys, we're looking at Neo stock. Yeah, look at the, we're gonna look at the stock price chart of Neo. Talk about Neo stock. Talk about the coming week. We've got revenue figures coming out, guys, for Neo stock. Um, so things are looking exciting to say the least, guys. I think it's on the 20th, and um, you've got the Firefly coming out in December, so things are looking up, guys. I think, I think, I think for Neo stock moving forward obviously the price let's look at the price in neo stock at the moment obviously the price has been hit hit recently you know attention has gone off of it basically attention has gone towards towards all the hype with crypto and it is all hype let's face it guys you know and other stocks but as i said it's all hype and you know if you do your research you'll find that china is very progressive very progressive and aggressive in that progression so if you do your research guys you'll find that china is the future not not all this politicking in america all this try you know all they're doing really the politicians you can't trust them right all of them they're all crooks doesn't matter what what side get in the situation's the same doesn't you know so they're all crooks they're all lying in their own pockets and then their, their families and their friends etc so guys like you know just focus on reality don't look at politics and jump on certain you know things that nothing underpins them that in a stock market crash stocks like tesla can just go to ten dollars twenty dollars i mean i'm talking about in a super stock market crash depending on the reason for the stock market crash guys it's not inconceivable you saw that the oil price went to zero in covid below zero at one point they were paying they were paying to give it away give oil barrels away because it was costing them more in storage so anything's possible right so don't say oh never never right remember that guys oil went to zero below zero so all these people manipulating you know, manipulating prices, manipulating everything, basically, everything they can. It's not only for them, it's only for self-gain, self-gain, right? It's not for the people, it's all politicking. They say, yeah, this is going to change, that's going to change for the people, but nothing ever does. I mean, look when Trump was in power, for instance, right? He built 50 miles of a wall supposed to have built a wall it's 50 miles or there's almost 2,000 miles that should have been built and he built only 50 miles and of that 50 miles they could they could climb it guys they could climb it if not climb it they walk around it you know so it's all smoke and mirrors let's say let's just leave it at that guys it's smoke and mirrors let's look at the stock price of neo we see it moving up from the fall you know it fell like fell quite badly on the last trading day last trading day was uh 15th today's a sunday today's sunday guys sunday 17th november 2024 coming up to 26 minutes past 5 p.m uk time guys and the last trading day it got hit neo stock got hit it got hit again well say again it was basically fading i think it's just fading off just people selling off just like not they're not long-term holders they're just like they thought it was going to go up they jumped on it 
this is what I think, right, guys? When it went 770, a lot of people jumped on Neo as they do on a lot of stops, but they're not like hardened, they're not like long term Neo, you know, diamond hands. They're not diamond hands, Neo, you know, diamond fists. They're, what they are, they obviously that they're, they're like um, kind of like swing traders. They jump on stocks hoping for an X, whatever. And when it don't come, they just get out, you know. They move on to other things. So they're a bit like um, um, how to say reactionists or a bit like fish in a way. Like you know when you throw some food or bread or whatever in, in the sea loads of fish come they're a bit like that like they go to basically they go to where the hype is hoping for it to keep going up to profit from it and when it doesn't they just like take their money and go somewhere else they don't they're not prepared to wait long term uh so that's what i think happened the tail end of it if this keeps going up now or stabilizes at least because it dropped to four dollars 33 cents as you can see on the 15th and then we got yeah the pre-trading it went up that's right basically in pre-trading um after hours you know trading um stock rose somewhat to 450 455 neo stock for 455 four dollars 55 cents so we're waiting for the market to open later pre-market you know for basically for the 18th for the 18th of november and hopefully damage is not too bad it's not hopefully like you know it don't continue going down as you could see like when it rose there and then it fell more there um like here again when it fell there it climbed up and then started falling again but obviously like you're gonna get you're gonna get these um you know when it falls you're gonna get these like little bit of an upspurt and then fall back down again the same same happened here back down again and then here down again but that's got to settle down you know that's normal when these kinds of things happen to stocks that have these kind of mini crashes that's a normal like um price action let's say and it's quite spiky stock Neo stock price action is quite spiky, so let's just say that the bottom's been reached on this run, and that is 4.33, then we should see it stabilise, hopefully climb back up to $5, and, and if the revenues are good, like moving forward, if the revenues are good coming up, then we could see a quite a high spike up to eight or nine dollars. Um, yeah, that's what I think, you know. So, time will tell when he was stuck, but at the moment, all right, it's been hit, but obviously, like people are holding long term and buying some people buying as others have sold as i said it's money that have come in speculation money short-term speculation money and when they thought you know because of the tariffs news of tariffs everything when they thought it's not going to happen they go somewhere else but they'll they'll come back no doubt they'll be back you know um also neo it's talk of Neo entering the uh, Azerbaijan market. You know, there's talk of uh, talk about that. 
So as well as the Middle East, you've got Azerbaijan, guys. Big market there. So there's a lot to look forward to, you know, in the coming um, weeks and months ahead. There's a lot to look forward to. Azerbaijan's a big market, guys. And the Middle East as a whole, is, uh, you know, there's a lot of countries in the Middle East. It's a big, big, huge market. And I was thinking earlier, I was thinking that India is a possibility for Neo. Although, obviously, there's a, there's a lot of players, a lot of key players in India. They've got Tata, but they've got other, obviously, manufacturers and everything in India. But I was thinking here, uh, India could be a huge market if they went into India. Could be an absolute huge market, guys. Uh, can you imagine? But look, guys, just in China, yeah, just in China, you've got over 1.4 billion people and um, population, growing a pop growing population. Yeah, I think they're very aggressive, guys. Neo stock, Neo company, very aggressive with the um, battery swap, battery swap stations, you know. Um, very aggressive with installing those. I think they're going to be a key, key, key factor moving forward. And um, yeah, so things could be looking up, guys. Not financial advice. Not financial advice. You know, I'm not telling you to buy. Uh, equally, I'm not telling you to sell or hold. Or um, you know, go long, go short, or close your positions or anything like that. I'm not telling you to buy Neo stock, but people are buying Neo stock. That's a fact. People are buying Neo stock. It's a fact. Um, it's looking up, guys. They've got the Neos, you know, L60. There's um, big orders. And, um, yeah, there's big, big, big orders, I reckon, for that, um, you know, for the L60. And the Firefly, guys, the Firefly is a game changer. Game changer. If you're, like, looking at, you know, revenues moving forward into 2025. Because because the market in China, you know, the... the, the, the um, Working class, you know, the, the, the people with not that much to spend on vehicles, they, like, the unveiling of the Firefly is a compact, you know, mini-type SUV. You know, that is a game-changer, guys, in my opinion. That's going to, going to be a game-changer for for Neo, Neo company, and the Neo stock moving forward. Can you imagine how many cars they're gonna sell for Firefly? It's gonna be like um, a Firefly rush, a Firefly rush to buy those, you know, to buy those Firefly cars, guys. And that's gonna, push the stock price up and near I reckon in my opinion to like you know it's going to crack the screen guys the needle is going to crack the screen it's going to move so fast you're not even going to see it on the top of your screen the chart won't be able to keep up the chart won't be able to move fast enough right the needle is going to go off the screen it's just going to jump it's just going to disappear like when it when it when it goes to new highs, it's just gonna go off like momentarily, right? It's gonna be paused and then it's gonna jump up. You're gonna see it jump, 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 higher, higher, higher. And everyone's gonna be rushing in to buy more Neo. And they're gonna be saying, Why did I leave Neo? Why did I leave Neo? Why did I leave Neo? Why didn't I stay in Neo? 
for goodness sake. They'd be jump like they'd be thinking like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find other, you know, stocks, as I said earlier, when like the fish, you know, when you throw food in the sea or the rivers or whatever, they or fish come. So it's going to be like that, guys. It's going to be like that, but they won't be able to get a cheap price anymore because they weren't watching it. They were looking for other, you know, other things. So, obviously, like, 2025 is going to be pivotal for Neo stock moving into 2025. So, it's going to be good, guys, I reckon, long term. Not financial advice. It's going to, but I think, like, it's going to be good, you know. Um... So, Neo stock, in my opinion, and experts say this as well, is undervalued at the current price. It's undervalued, guys. Experts say that Neo stock right now should be minimum ten dollars, even after being bashed down. You know, with this recent talk about tax, tax, um, you know, tariffs. But don't forget, guys, that, you know, that's not going to work long term, those tariffs. I mentioned this in my other videos. You know, you've got Elon Musk, yeah. You know, he's in China. Cars are in China, guys. Tesla in China. they got a good rate. they got a good deal. they got a good deal on the land they've got for their sites, they build Tesla, they've got a good deal on the raw materials, they've got a good deal on the batteries, they've got a good deal, good good tariffs, low tariffs. And you think like t high tariffs are gonna be imposed on Chinese EVs in America? Guys, it's all wishful thinking for like, you know, hardliners back in America, but they're all being duped into that thought process it's just like the wall just like the wall was never built and people's coming in as i speak into america and every day they're going in and just like it's all talk about them being deported it's all talk basically these people the politic politic po you know the politicians or politicking they're globalists guys they they don't care right they, they don't care about you know who goes to what country without documents or whatever they don't care so long as they're making money they don't care guys that's the reality right so long as they're making money and um so the market's not open any, anymore change the chart so you get a better view so guys like they don't care as long as they're making money yeah they're globalists really they say they care and this and that but really they're globalists all they want is the money they don't care about you know what people live where and go into what countries and this and that like at the end of the day so long as it's all about money, guys. I mean, look at Putin, right? In Russia. Look at Putin. Like, they say, like, he's richer than Elon Musk, truth be known. Regardless of where he got his money, we know he stole it, whatever, from, from, from like, obviously, from, from Russia, from the, basically, from the people, like a lot of them, oligarchs, etc. But at the end of the day, um Putin he doesn't care about people, people die in the war, whatever side on the east side, the other side, so long as he has got money. It's all about money. If he cared, he wouldn't have got gathered all, you know, accumulated all that money. It's all about money, guys. Like most politicians, they're like um ponces. They're like 
they're the lowest kind really like leeches you know I'm not saying all of them per se some of them already got money but some of them have got money they're in trouble they haven't got as much money as they once had or say they have and they use politics to get more money if they can they use politics to you know make themselves richer again etc they do anything to do that so the bottom line is that for neo stock um i wouldn't worry like i wouldn't worry guys my opinion not financial advice but all that talk about tariffs is all hogwash. It's all hogwash. Believe me, it's all political. It's all, most of the stock market is manipulated. Did you know that? Probably don't. But most of the stock market's manipulated anyway by the big players, the market makers, the big players behind. There's so many levels of um, manipulation. It's like that in most things, you know, most organizations and um structures of power and um administration so guys like yeah moving forward china they've got an agenda to be aggressive in the progression and they want to take over the us like they build things so fast not always 100% better than like America, a lot of the things they build, but some things they build are better than what is being built in the West. So you can't always run them down, right? But what's a fact is they build very fast, whether that's cars, airports, you know, ships, warships you know whatever they build it fast guys as i said it's not always as good but some of their stuff is better so you know it works two ways really and but they're very like aggressive you know very they're very advanced let's say and um you can't write them off guys you know neo's one stock of there's thousands of stocks, you know. I mean, if you're talking about different stock markets, obviously, like, there's, like, you know, there's over 100,000 stocks. But NEO, obviously, if you're talking about EVs, and there's only so many EVs, EV stocks, or EV related stocks because they're not all EV manufacturers there's like different aspects supporting or supplying EVs like batteries you know technology semiconductors or parts different parts could be tires could be anything could, could be transport you know could be shipping could be anything a, a, a lot of things connected to EVs but point is that as i said for neo stock you've got to look long term in my opinion even if the stock shot up tomorrow i would still be saying you've got to look long term because it could very well come back down again so yeah definitely look long term guys if you're looking for some big moves you know big rises and it would be good for your neo stock to go up gradually over time rather than kind of spiking up and definitely not be used as a pump stock like because that ultimately long term is no good for it you want it to go up gradually gradually higher and higher and then eventually when it goes so high you want it you want them to take you know like two of your shares and give you one and all that you want that to occur like you know several times over 10 years because because the stock if it's going to rise a lot ultimately you know that's what you want you want value you want growth you want a growth stock 
Um, don't want these pump and dumps. Right, let's say, for instance, Neo stock rose to $8 tomorrow. Right? And then you sold and you're thinking, oh. Like, let's say you sold and then it, it didn't go back down. It started climbing higher. You know, it might go down to seven dollars and then start climbing up to nine, ten dollars, eleven dollars, etc. Well, now you've lost your chance because you've sold. You like you were looking at a pump. You were hoping it was going to be pumped, and you saw that it rise, and you thought it was a pump. You got all excited. You thought you'd sell, and then wait for it to come back down. Let's say it didn't come back down, hypothetically, because it didn't come back down. You can't get in again. You can't buy cheaper. So you're screwed. Like, you know, you've had your chance. And that's why long term holdings should pay off, you know, long term, in my opinion. And that's the point, guys. Like, so you just have to. Just have to wait for the news, let it pan out, wait for the news to occur. And at the same time, look at the Tesla price. Let, let right, If you see the Tesla price climb and it's related to politics, because Elon Musk said this and that because he's got a position in government, you know it's just a hype. You know that it's a stock. Tesla stock's just gone up because of Elon Musk. But that's not going to last, guys. Believe me, it's not going to last. Just like the, the, the crypto didn't last. And in 2020, 2021, and it all come crashing down, 22. Exactly the same thing's going to happen for Tesla. Can't survive. But there's a thing about Tesla, I want to say. And that is, if Tesla are clever, if they've got any brains at all, right, that instead of stopping Chinese EVs, they should be doing deals. They should be doing deals with partnerships, you know, with the likes of Neo. Because they look, America need um, compact, you know, compact car, compact um, SUVs. And Neo are building them already. Tesla are not building them. We're not talking about talking about building them. But look how much it's going to cost them to build them. They should be partnering with Neo and bringing in the cars. So that's a possibility that could happen. You know. Um, but also, I want to say, uh, say another thing that I said going back quite a while ago in my videos. If you go back in my videos of Neo, there's some big players selling Tesla stock and buying Neo stock. There's some big players, guys, right? They're buying millions of Tesla, millions of Tesla shares. And they're even dumping, te te they're buying millions of Neo, sorry, Neo shares. And they're even selling Tesla shares to buy the Neo sh uh, shares. So that's happening as well, guys. And I said that will happen going back in my videos. It's got quite a while back. So you've got to look at that as well. You've got to look at that factor as well. I told you, when the shorts have had enough and they start loading up on Neo, and when the big players start pumping, you know, Neo, buying up Neo stock, that's when you see the Neo stock flying, you say goodbye to Tesla. So that's, uh, that's occurring already, guys, as I, as I speak, that's going on. You know, <clears throat> so my opinion, I wouldn't get all like bothered about the recent, you know, price, price falls with Neo. It's just part of the cycles that Neo has to put up with sometimes getting bashed by these, um, basically people that just manipulate markets and stuff. So if you're long, you're long, I suppose. Diamond hands all the way, guys. Diamond hands. Forget about it, you know? 
and that should come good in my opinion. Anyway, look guys, you could have had, <laughs> you could have loaded up at four, um, where are we? Just now, you could have loaded up at um, 4.33, 4.34. Let me know in the comments, guys. Did you load up? Did you buy more Neo? Did you buy more Neo stock, guys? Let me know in the comments, please. And like the video and share. Share the video, guys, because so many trading platforms have blocked me. They don't like it because I call it right. I'm not going to call it today. I'm not going to. Like, as you know, I called it right about eight, nine times. Neo stock. I, I could call it again. I could tell you what's going to happen. Because you know I always call it right. At least most of the time. But I'm not going to do that, guys. But, as I said, share it on trading platforms. Because they don't like it. Because I called it right. So, all these trading platforms that have blogs and comments, etc. Share it there, guys. And on stock tweets and Yahoo conversations and um, you know all the trading platforms that have a social you know social um, comments etc and um, yeah load in more videos guys and check the other videos check what I said previously about neo stock and also other stocks on the site guys let me know in the comments I'm waiting for your comments.